rectangles with fractional side lengths. You learned earlier that the area of a rectangle is the amount of space covered within the rectangle. We used the method of counting unit squares to measure that area. For example, to find the area of a rectangle that is 3 inches long and 2 inches wide, we can cover the space inside the rectangle by using 1 inch unit squares. In other words, using squares whose side length is 1 inch. As you can see, we can cover the entire space within the rectangle with 6 of these unit squares. So we say that the area of the rectangle is 6 square inches. We also learned a simple formula to calculate the area of a rectangle, which is the area of a rectangle equals length times width. In this case, the length of the rectangle is 3 inches and its width is 2 inches. Since both measurements use the same unit for length, we can multiply them using the formula. So the area equals 3 times 2, and that will give us the same answer, which is 6 square inches. What if we wanted to find the area of a rectangle with length two-thirds inches and width three-fifths inches. Because we have fractions of a whole representing the length and width of a rectangle, we can't work with full unit squares, but parts of a unit square. In our case, our area will be part of this 1-inch unit square. We will draw our rectangle in the 1-inch square to find its area. Since the denominator in the length of our rectangle is 3, we divide our unit square vertically into 3 equal parts. Each part represents one-third of the area covered by the unit square. Since our numerator is 2, we will shade two of those parts in blue. Similarly, since the denominator in the width of the rectangle is 5, we divide the unit square horizontally into five equal parts. Our numerator for this fraction is 3, so we will shade 3 of the 5 parts in yellow. Notice how the area of the 1 inch unit square is divided into 15 equal parts, where each part is 1 15th of the total area, or 1 15th square inches. The area where both the blue and yellow shading overlap represents a rectangle with a length of two-thirds inches and a width of three-fifths inches. How much does this overlap area represent of the total? Notice that this area consists of six small rectangles, each measuring 1 15th square inches. So, the area of our rectangle is 6 15th square inches. We can check our answer by plugging our length and width into the formula. Area equals length times width. The length is two-thirds, and the width is three-fifths. So here, 
we find the product of our numerators. 2 times 3 is 6. And the product of our denominators, 3 times 5, is 15. So, we have 6 fifteenths square inches again. In this lesson, you learned how to find the area of a rectangle with fractional length and width using area models.